it's your girl Miss Tara and today I've got a quick tutorial for you um, basically it's like less than five minutes preparation 10 to 15 minutes in the oven and you're done you have something quick to eat and it's quite a favorite for a lot of people and you can pretty much put your own ingredients your own different spices or vegetables but literally this is what I put together from what was left over in my kitchen in my cupboard um, that's one good thing about eating a plant-based meal it's a lot less cooking time especially if you don't enjoy cooking I mean I do but I hope you like it um, if you try it um, hashtag me um, all things Miss Tara on Instagram or um, comment in the section below if you have any questions feel free to ask me and I hope you like this video. Here we go, six easy steps to making a plant-based slash vegan pizza. First, I have my organic pizza base made out of spelts, it's by Biona, and I bought it from Planet Organic. There is a wheat-free, gluten-free one available. So I lay it out and prepare it. Here I have Biona Arabiata pasta sauce, and you're to use a third of the bottle. I used half but don't do that, use a third, because then there's a possibility of your base being soggy, and who wants a soggy pizza base? Spread it all over the base. And then next I have my amazing cashews, cashews, basically an alternative to cheese and it's made out of cashew and um, basil that's the flavor that I like it smells so good guys I open it and smell it for no reason all the time and I've used it so much I was literally scraping the bottom like I use it so much and yeah because I'm scraping for dear life hence why it's looking this way but trust me it tastes so good it's also available at Planet Organic and it's in different flavors. There's paprika and there's chives, but I love basil. So next I have spinach I bought from Sainsbury's, organic of course. And then I have broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts are amazing. Anything sprouted is amazing. Like it packs 50 times the antioxidants compared to like normal grown broccoli. It's amazing. Next you spread it all over the pizza base. And you know, for those that don't eat this way, you're like, why is she spreading so much leaves and trees on her damn pizza? Well guys, it's because spinach tends to shrink once you cook it, bake it, whatever. So I'm trying to pack as much on there as I need. And let's face it, a lot of people don't eat as much greens not even a quarter of the greens that they're supposed to eat. So spread them leaves and trees, girl. Oh, well, guy. I then put the rest of the arabiata sauce on there. It's meant to be a third more. I prefer more sauce on top of the spinach and broccoli sprouts than at the bottom. But you know, that's why I was scraping for dear life again. Literally, I was using whatever I had. So you may be thinking it doesn't look that attractive but trust me it smells so amazing and it's gonna taste so good like so good then i spread some more cashews on there oh gosh who wouldn't love some more cheese on their you know in our case cashews on their pizza but hard times Next, we're gonna use our chili. Um, we're gonna chop it up um, as much as you want. Literally, we are freestyling and just spread it all over your pizza. I tend to love spicy food, so I spread as much as I can, or in this case, as much as I have. Then I add some more um, pepper, so black pepper. And since I don't have my fresh spices, I tend to still try to make um, some good where I can. So fair trade from Sainsbury's. Like I said, I love spice, so I spread as much as I want. And then we're done, and it's ready to go into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And I tend to put it on 150 degrees. Sometimes I may turn it up higher. 
then voila magic is ready to be cut into dissected and eaten whether with you know um it's probably for two people maximum but i can eat this whole thing myself because it's actually not a big pizza base at all so yeah thanks for watching i've enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully there'll be much more to come so thanks guys